We all know that golf is very difficult, but what happens when it finally clicks? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I think we've got it. I think we've finally got it. Something's working. Foxy, 25 handicap, that's gonna come down, crashing down to about 18, hopefully, in the next few days. Days? Days, well, maybe weeks. <laughs> but guys, we're here at Desert Springs Golf Resort here in Almeria. It's a fantastic venue and a very, very difficult golf course. But Foxy, we think we've finally unlocked something. Something just worked yesterday, it didn't did, it? It did, didn't it? So we had to bring it to the people. Guys, comment below, have you ever had that eureka moment where you think, this is the movement, this is the feeling I need, this is what's gonna get me to play better golf. If you have, get in the comments below and let us know what it is, because it's always nice to share them. But folks, we're gonna have a bit of a lesson today and we're gonna try and kind of embed what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, shall I let everyone first? Let's have a quick warm up. How good's that? And guys, this is part of the difference. I'm gonna put shot tracer on these shots so you can see them all. And that is so much different to this, what we have been seeing. I put one of your not so good shots. One of them ones. ones. <laughs> yeah. Now, you've kind of lived my golf life vicariously through the videos, haven't you? So yeah. you saw the Pete Cowan video, you saw a couple of other different videos. Guys, so many people have said that the Pete Cowan video that I did has helped their game. And I think it's done the same for you. You're starting to set the club better. You're starting to get the club higher. Yeah. So many people have commented in our videos saying, Fox, he needs to get his right arm working better. He needs to get his legs working better. Now that's all good and well if you want to have an aesthetic swing, if you want to have a good looking golf swing, I'm trying to work with what you do well without changing everything. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people don't see. So Foxy, hit me a couple more shots and just work on that takeaway. Get the club out. I want, I want the club here. Here, in front. That can fold, set it to the top, and then turn through. Lovely stuff. Good, really good. Now look at that finishing position as well, because when have you ever done that? Never. Usually you'd be back talking to me. Like that. Yeah. Pull it over. That's so good, mate. A little bit cutty, that one, but still bit. not bad. Let's get them wrists moving. Yep. And how do you feel like you set the club when those wrists do move properly? Because it used to go kind of back round your backside there, a little it? bit like I used it's, to it's do. Up, That's it's up it. here. And then it's just letting it release and, and falling through with it. And we're going to talk... Um, a few of the clubs in here as well because we may have found a bit of a secret weapon which we're also going to do a video on. Well that were a bad one. Hmm. Now what happens there for me is almost a lack of concentration. Yeah. Because you know that you hit your good shot when you set the club there yeah. and then turn. Yeah. But as soon as it goes in here, that's when it everything goes. Club wrong. face is wide open, yeah. so it's always going to do that. We used to try and battle it by getting you to flip the hands over, didn't we? Yeah. But actually all that's doing is making you more reliant upon timing yeah. instead of actually being reliant upon squaring a club face up. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Tell you what, I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to show you that last swing. So what do you think to that last swing? I've just it, shown so I'll overlay it for people now as well. I just look, I look to me like I just didn't, my balance was kind of all over. Absolutely balanced. Also, if I hit you one, Fox, what we were working on there was actually better, the idea of setting the club here. But if I just turn the entire body, there's no separation at all between lower half and upper half. No. That's something we have discussed in depth. So the fact that when you're setting the club, the lower body stays still for That's a little it. bit longer. And then, and then, then turn. separate yeah. and then hit it. Loads better. Enjoy that one. I did. I'll like shot that. chase that for them, yeah. Yeah, nice. Good that. That. Same if you were doing any athletic movement, throwing a cricket ball, no idea why you'd want to do that, but throwing yeah. anything, it's a separation and away. Nearly, but I don't mind that as your bad one. No. The difference is, guys, so Fox is now 25, and we're out here playing possibly one of the hardest golf courses in Europe. We've got you keeping it in play. We've got you hitting good hybrids off the tees. Yeah. We've got you hitting greens in regulation. If that's your bad one, I don't mind it. We can make your bad shot way better. We can't make your good shot that much better. Awesome. Lovely. 
you remember this movement as well? So I'll just set another ball up for you there. You're not going to hit it, you're just going to do a backswing. Yeah? That's the position there. Hips have just started to move yeah. as the club gets, as you're setting it, as the club, your arm gets parallel. And then... Because that's that, powerful. And then inside, You hear yeah. my voice is changing a little bit because I've... Strange. If I, if I go like this, I can talk to you all day, no problem. Yeah. Awesome golf swing. I'm sure the guys who are watching who are vested in your videos, Foxy, will agree that that looks totally different. It does look, it feels totally different. And things take time, guys, as well. Like, this isn't an excuse for you, because you haven't played the golf you wanted to play so far, have you? No. Which is fair. But golf's hard. Golf's hard. Golf's a difficult movement. And I think a lot of people sometimes think, oh, well, Foxy plays golf all day, he needs to do this, he needs to do that. I don't. He doesn't, yeah. That's <laughs> really me, don't. that's me. I, I've got no excuse for being terrible. What changes with the hybrid, Foxy, just, just before we jump into it? Wider stance. Yep. Better base. And then just bring that ball position slightly forward as well. Yep. Absolutely different class, that one. I don't know why, what is it about this hybrid? I just feel so at ease and comfortable Sometimes you need, you need to have a golf club that you feel comfortable with. For me there, you, you I can see your cogs go in, set this here, get it here, yeah. and then hit it. It all felt very much in front of me all the time as opposed to coming in and being crushed up with it. I'd love to see you do that with a driver, which we might have a look at in a minute. Guys, we still don't, we still don't get this out of the bag and it's something which we would like to try and do, wouldn't we, at some yeah, point. It's just a nice ornament at the minute. It is a nice ornament. Linda got him that head cover. Yeah. <laughs> Same again, mate. And that's one thing I want, if I ever see you do that again, great shot. This sounds very assertive, but I mean it. Set up again to a ball. If I, if I see Fox do this again, I don't know what you're trying to do there, because you do it on a golf course all the time, but you never start a golf swing here. No. And, and that almost bodes into that terrible that. takeaway, yeah. And then it gets sloppy. Absolutely, yeah. The, the one, the one um, thing I want to see you do is exactly that, that, and then go. Class again. Again. So if we were to simplify this now so that you can take it to the golf course, because that's obviously the be all and end all and the aim, what's your two swing, we never want more than two, what's your two swing thoughts that you think, right, if I do that on a tee, I'll hit the fairway? For me, at the, at, at the minute, it's just that first separation moment there, keeping it out, you know, keeping If the, I'm being hypercritical, that hits move too much, but I know you're trying to explain it. Yeah, so. this, just moving so they're keeping the club head square there yep. as opposed to, and just not that, I feel if I do that, I'm going to make always decent progress off for a tee. Yeah. And what I absolutely love is that it's making you um, transfer your weight better. Yeah. Because we've seen on the follow throughs, I'll put a random follow through on now of when we are playing a few weeks ago and today. Well, it's totally it, different. Instead, it, it, it sometimes it used to be that, didn't it? Yeah. Now it's And that's when turning. you top it, you thin it, you yeah. shank it, you... It's not what we want, is it? That's, that's not the menu we're dining off now. No, that's, that's when it were rubbish. Yeah, that's a great takeaway, that last one. Lovely. So these are all going kind of 200 on the fly minimum. So yeah. it almost makes you wonder, do you even need that? Yeah. I know obviously you'd like to. I'd like to. There's certain courses, I don't think this is, I, I dare say there's only maybe three holes, maybe four holes that you even put your driver out here just because of how yeah. narrow it is and, and whatnot. Yeah, it depends if it's your strength or not. There'll be guys who use driver all the time, but yeah. um, for me, it's just a case of, our goal, I think, for this year is to get Foxy to 18, so it's one shot a hole. I'm sick of giving you two shots <laughs> and then you're paring a random hole. It makes it easier to cut score as well if it's a shot a hole. It does make it a lot easier, yeah. <laughs> but we don't, we don't need to get you smashing a driver to get to 18 handicap because you're strong enough, no. tall enough, fast enough. Awesome shot again. I'm going to move the camera again so the guys can see some shot traces. That one felt really, that very, that very, very, very straight one. Yeah, nice that. So Let's have one more nice one, mate, and then we'll have a bit of a go with a driver. But the big thing for me here is that Fox isn't manipulating the club. He's not great swing. That is absolutely unbelievable. 
but he's not manipulating it. We're not saying let's flip the hands over anymore. We're not cheating the system. No, the just... body is driving the club, which was what needs to happen. Sometimes the club used to drive the body and then you're absolutely um, creek without a paddle, so to say. Right. Try the same. I know we've got a bit of scar tissue with this, but we'll try the same. I'll put your head cover on, mate. You're all right. Thank you. <laughs> Might need a castle tea. Have we got any? Oh, a pink one here. Yeah, it goes in, actually. So this is a driver now without me saying pretty much anything. I just wanted to see if what we've been doing, you can take it into there. Struggling to put the ball on the tee, to be fair. Look at that. <laughs> you all right? Mate. No. We've been bit to death. I don't know what's going off. Right, come on. Get that take. That's it. Yes. Get in. How good is that? That's not even moved in the air. Done. Done. Happy? But this is it, mate. This is how simple it can be, and this is how simple it needs to be yeah. for not only you, but everyone watching at home and for me as well. Well done, mate. Absolutely outstanding, that. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Huge thanks to the guys here at Desert Springs for getting us out here. It is a beautiful setup. If ever you are in Almeria or that area, make sure you come here and play. Well done. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Better that. Yep. A little bit better. Bye.